Taire. Hey guys, I'm your host ATA aka Anand. Okay, this is a special video for me because today, yes it is, I completed 5 years of my YouTube channel Artist Try Solve. What an half decade it was. I got over 72,000 views overall with 11 videos with only views more than 1,000. By the way, the best ones are yet to get acknowledged. So, acknowledge me as your artist known as Anand. <laughs> And three years ago, on a Christmas Eve, I uploaded a time lapse video of Rajini Ansar's 2.0 drawing. With the motivation I occurred from this man, Mohit Nainwal. With that. I got my most viewed video with over 24k plus views. Thank you for that. Also a big thanks to all of my viewers from around the globe like from India, Pakistan, South Africa, UK, USA, etc etc. It was a fantastic half decade. I am truly by heart grateful that I was able to entertain 693 people around the world. This day one is. Yes, it's been a shame to hear my subscribers count from the last five years up to date, but I'm pretty sure it'll improve with me in coming years. So let's stop this unscripted promo here by wishing a happy five-year anniversary to me. So yeah, let's make the WrestleMania 37 Edge attire with this Flex Force basic edge figure. Full light de gandu gayinallo, enna thodangalle. Let's begin. Appo ayin thane we need brown tap aka parcel tap. അടുത്തത് നമുക്ക് വേണ്ടത് കത്രിക യെസ് സിസസ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി യൂസ്ഡ് ആസ് എ ബേസ് ഫോർ അപ്കമിങ് ടാറ്റൂസ് വിച്ച് ഇസ് ഡൺ സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇൻ ഫ്യൂച്ചർ ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ഈസി ടു ചേഞ്ച് വിത്തൗട്ട് എനി ട്രബിൾ ഫോർ മിസ്റ്റേക്സ് വിത്ത് ഇസ് ഹാൻഡ്സ് Let's go and pray. Let's go and pray. Let's go. This match is for White Cat and Raw Heavyweight Championship. And Jim Finn Balor looks great. Let's make it official with a referee. Great. Thirdly, we need red and black city marker for making his tattoos. This is how his iconic tattoos are gonna get recaptured. Fourthly, we need transparent silhouette. Silhouette. Fifthly, we need the red and black insulation tabs. Now it's been used for making his elbow pads. Later on it will be used 
to make his attack. Now we need a Teflon thread seal tag. Trust me, it's hard to pick it up, but if you do, it will help to make your great looking wrist tapes. So first of all, break all the time the wall day. Ring the wall. Ding ding ding. This is how we're gonna look, and we just finished his both arms. Now we're starting off with a drop kick. Now it's time for white paper tap. Now we will make his pants with this tape. Later on, we will use it again. Let's go! What an impact! Oh look that, Ruff is going down! Rolls back, edge back to his feet. Oh my god, what a drop kick and sends edge down the ring. The band is not officially over, but we finished the white soap. Now it's time for this. First, we need pencil for the outline, then, after that. We use both red and black CD marker. For clearing things out, we might need a red sketch, also a grey sketch so that you don't miss the details. This is the best I could do to this miniature look. Don't forget to give some extra touch. Take time 
but stick them right without the stick. What a match! We're right back! Finally, both logos are finished. Let's move on. Oh wow! Kind of spotted back! My god! Top card all out to act! Now it's time to draw the rated R logo in between his pants. Now that his upper part of his pants is over, we jump into his kick pads. For drawing his kick pads, first of all we need is a pencil and then a black CD marker. When I want a spear, let's go for it. But look, Balor got her into the ballet kick. Down goes out. Wait a minute. Balor on top rope. He smashes out with a coup de grace. After we finish drawing his kick pads, we take a small piece of red insulation tab and cover the rust area like this. This part I am doing is not necessary, it is exceptional. I am doing this because I like to create details that I can. Ok, 90% each job is done for his pants, but we are still missing his knee pads with the Raider R logo. For that, we need a red insulation tab and mold it like this. Then use the white paper tab to seal its sticky part. It's about the time to create the Raider R logo for his knee pads with black CD marker and a grey sketch. Cut it nicely leaving some white parts in the edge to the edges knee pad for edge. Balor must run next for another drop gig. Wow, Edge side steps and Balor is stuck on the ring post. Edge capitalizes with an edge of matter. Cut a real nice piece of paper tap. Stick to the back of his knee pads with some black insoles. Yeah, now onwards insulation taps will be called as insoles. And cut and stick just how you see it. Edge's WrestleMania 37 attire is finally over and you can see this is more realistic than I expected. Are you prepared to see the new face of Edge? Okay, let me show you. The new face brand. Lol. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm ruining this. How could you fall for that? The actual one would be much better than this. At least that I can promise to ya. And for that, we need to cut the already sculpted hair by Flex Force like this. For better shape, you can use scissors like me. Or if you have a better plan, do that. It will be looking like this if you all follow my methods. Till now. It's bare! Cut the paper tab for the base like this. Fully cover the edge sculpt like this. Let's make a skin to this figure. And for making skin, yes, you guessed it, we need to use the parcel tab to seal the deal. Follow the same step which I used to cover his face with the paper tab. Let's go. Another spot. 
Pereira. Oh, it's gone to Pereira. Rafi is back. Let's destroy space with pencil for our planes and a black CD marker for details. Use paper tabs for his hair and beard. And for his hair color, I use this dark brown Tombow dual brush pens. And at last, flex quick for the rest. While using this, be very careful. If you are a child, then use this with your parents' guidance. It is being used to get the fresh, wet hair type texture to his hair. I don't want to mess the background flow, so I'll use a single piece of paper and fold it two times for double protection. Let's keep for drying for until 3 minutes. After it dries, you will get this texture plus the fixed hard air. Now it's time to actually reveal the new face of Rated R Superstar Edge. Gets back as World of Year Champions. Wait a minute, why did light turn off? What? Don't tell me. It is, it is a fan. Edge, don't turn back. He is a real mandible car. Alright, guys, this is the figure. I mean. Wait a minute, there's the wipe around the open, punk kick in the head of freedom. Edge raises his arm to Edge and pulls him up. Former rivals, but battle fronts. Freedom gets up. Edge breaks. Open faces freedom. And I can't out of nowhere. For capturing his chest there, I used both gray sketch and a pencil. Ed stands holding for two chairs. There's one, and there's another chair. Fiend's full head is propped inside the chair. I see anger in Edge's eyes. He's he gonna smash Fiend's head off? Walking out in face, I think he's gonna do that. Good God Almighty! As I promised you recently, the new face will be much better than the old one. And I've been using that old one since 2019. Here's the cucumbers. Here is the real comparison before and after I turned the basic flux force basic figure into more of a WrestleMania 37 worth wrestling figure. For the past 5 years I've been saying this and oh boy I'll say it again. If you're new to this channel do subscribe to the Embryonic YouTube channel. Thank you for spending your valuable time on our channel. Peace.